Let's see if we can answer the age-old question, what be with the D? Hello, and I'd like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are starting our series on the fundamentals of finishing layout work. Just as we did with PRISM, we are going to be taking this in very, very small baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Today we're going to start out with the most fundamental of all, what is decentration? One of the reasons I wanted to shoot the video today was because I believe that Super Frame and Super Lens have been getting a little lonely. Thank you to the person on YouTube who pointed out last time I used Super Lens that it needed a band around the outside so you could actually see it. Thanks for the tip. What is decentration? It is the absolute rock bottom fundamental beginning of the understanding of all finishing layout work. Why would you need to know this? Why would you need to decenter a lens? As I say on the website, you can run about 99% of the jobs in modern edgers on automatic. You just block that lens on center or on the optical cross or five down and five over for a straight top. Hit the go button and you are good to go. 1% of the time, things don't work out that way and you still need to do some stuff the old fashioned way. That happens most when you have a very narrow PD in a small frame. You put your block on and the feeler comes out to trace, make sure you have enough lens to cut out. It hits the block. You can physically move the block over out of the way, the amount of decentration if you do it manually. But that's for stuff down the road. Here is the job order that we are going to look at today. Customer Krumholtz, Bobby. His right is a minus 150 sphere, left minus 175 sphere, PD is 62, the frame is a Mark Roth 6754, in black, size 47, 19, 140. You have a frame PD, FPD, and if you don't know the boxing system, there's a wonderful video for it on the Optician Works YouTube channel, and of course, plenty on the website. Your frame PD is equal to the geometric center of the eye wire openings, the center of this opening to the center of this opening, represented by the two black asterisks. It's 66 millimeters. My human PD, me, 62, from center of my pupil to the center of my pupil, 62. 62 millimeters. My eyes are closer together than the center of the eye wire openings. 62 is less than 66. If I have a frame PD of 66 and I take away my PD of 62, I have a difference of four. Four divided by two, because I have two eyes, two millimeters. Why two millimeters in? Because my PD is more narrow, less than my frame PD. I would take my lens, dot it up in the lens meter. Now I showed you the prescription for this particular job. It's a sphere, so these two dots I could put any place, but we'll keep them horizontal for the sake of the argument. I would take my center dot, my lens OC, and if I was doing a running an edger on auto, I would place it there. But because I am manually decentering this lens, I would move it over two millimeters, and my block would be stuck here. Decentration is the decentering from the center of this point, either out or in, in 99% of the time, out 1% of the time of taking that lens OC, moving it over, and blocking it there. That is the concept of decentration. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a little something out of that. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't, 
hit the dislike button, and please leave me a comment. Thanks. This is going to be incredibly brief because this is a fairly simple concept. We are trying to determine and focus on and shut the 